Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a priming valve that if you have trouble with uh, corrosion. I'm going to show you a little trick on how I set it up. Um, just be sure that you drain your pressure off your dry system before removing the faceplate. So what I'm going to do is remove the gasket on this clapper, clean it up a little bit. The bolt size to remove this gasket is 9 16. Alright, so that's what it looks like when I took my gasket out. As you can see, it's, it's pretty bad, so what I'm going to do is just clean out around my seat here. Install my gasket back on. I'm going to flip it over, put the cleaner side on. Alright, so here's the gasket I took out. So if you're having trouble with it, you usually just clean it off. And when you install it back into your dry valve, just flip it over. That way, this part will be sitting on the seat of your dry valve. So, yeah, all I did was wash it off. And uh, I'll throw it back in there. If you can't get your gasket to seal, you just put some lubricant on there. That's water soluble. So it's going to dissipate once water hits it. Uh, I don't recommend any sealant as per NFPA. Okay, here's what the gasket's going to look like with that water soluble uh, lubricant on there. It should stop the water from seeping past the clapper through the intermediate chamber. Alright, so now that I got my clapper set. Uh, my valve should be ready to prime up, so I'm going to open this valve here, pour water into this cup, and make sure it's not coming out of my velocity check here. If you don't see any water coming out, it should be good to go. Okay, I got my dry valve set up, I got my priming water in, and I'm airing up. Uh, make sure your bolts are tight. I'm also going to check my main drain valve, because sometimes... Uh, water will seep through the clapper and come back through your main drain, but a lot of times you can close that off and set it up. But it didn't work the first time on this, so I just wanted to go ahead and close it off. So I wrote up the issue on this valve. We're definitely coming back to do a five-year internal investigation and inspection. I'm going to go ahead and change out these gauges and uh, check out some of the trim in the in this dry valve. So. Now, some of you experienced sprinkler guys might not like the way I set this valve up with the water-soluble lubricant on the gasket, but it does help, and it's not really going to affect the way this valve operates. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and until next time.